Congratulations, you just got your wedding date announcement. So here, this video especially is for you, for the brides and the grooms. Should we go ladies first or in this case, let's go the gentlemen first. Because that's going to be quick and easy for me. And then we can do an elaborate thing for all the beautiful brides out there. So let's start with the grooms. So for the grooms, the most important thing I see is most of you men don't even have a skincare. Right? Put your hands up. How many of you have a skincare? None of you. Maybe 10% has have a skincare and that too the ones who really really take care of themselves and really look into the mirror. So you find out oh this is dry or this is patchy or I may need a sunscreen. So those are the people who have a skincare. So let's divide the whole world of men into two categories. Having skincare and not having skincare. So not having skincare, very easy. First thing, start a skincare regime. So understand what your skin is. It's very easy. Just touch your skin early morning. If it's feeling oily, then you have a pretty much oily skin. Touch your skin in the morning. If it feels really parched, dry, stretched, irritated, almost itchy, then it is a very dry skin. If it is just about okay and normal and it's not bothering you, then it's a normal skin, right? Why I'm going to make it this easy for you is if there's combination, I'm sure you're not even, not even noticed it. If you had noticed, you have started skincare, right? So I'm talking to the ones who just didn't know and didn't bother about skin. So making it simple, very dry, very oily and just about normal. This is what you firstly understand, what is your skin? Now, once you decide what is your skin type, there's only three things I want you to do. Get a good face wash depending on your skin type. Get one moisturizer and get one sunscreen, period. So we are nourishing, we are protecting and we are cleansing. That's all is what you need to start with. Then, uh, how do you know which product to choose? It's very easy these days. Everything is there on the bottle. It says moisturizer for dry skin. Moisturizer for very dry skin also is written. So everything is written there on the bottle. Please don't read the ingredients. Don't even bother going there because you're just starting, remember? So just read the big lines which are written there saying what type of skin it is for. So once you've sorted these three things out, use them for a week. You will actually see how your skin becomes a little more softer, nicer to touch, healthier on your body itself. It, wearing the skin is easier now. It's not stretching, it's not sticky and oily and acne prone or you know becomes open pory and dark at times. It just is a happy skin now. So get to that stage with your basic routine. Now, if you're encouraged, go to your dermatologist because you one don't want to experiment. If you end up experimenting and the skin starts to feel either too sensitive, you're just going to give it up. So I don't want you to experiment. Go to your dermatologist and figure out a simple skincare regime. And now that you've started looking at the mirror while you're applying cream, you must have noticed those old acne scars or a spot here and there or a little patchy skin on the forehead, temple area, which is now bothering you a little. So now that you have looked at a little more details, when you go to your doctor's consultation, tell her what your skin goals are. From there, she will end up giving, she or he will end up giving you um, maybe an active, maybe an addition to your night cream. Or if you have chosen it slightly wrong on your own, maybe they'll correct that a little bit and tweak your skincare regime. That's all is what you need to do. So add now with your doctor's help one active which will take you towards your goal. What is that one thing which really irritates you? Look at that. Yeah. So this is what you've done. That's it. Do that. You're good. You're happy. If it's easy for you to pop a supplement rather than apply things and you don't. There was one gentleman who came to me the other day. I just don't like the feeling of any cream. I've never used a cream in my life. Now, if I use something, it just feels sticky and not so nice. And I just don't like the idea of wearing something on my skin. I'm okay to pop a tablet, which was fabulous. So in that case, you, if you have an issue, that is, you should start thinking of, should I cut down on sugar? Should I kind of get onto an exercise regime? Should I start looking at getting to my ideal weight? So tweaking my diet, diet and what I eat. So these are a few things you may have to look and add a supplement. Taking for the starters, if you're a young man and a young groom, maybe simply taking a multivitamin might not really help. You may need an antioxidant, you may need an anti-inflammatory and uh, maybe start off with just these two. So simply from our range of soul skin, you can start off with let's say Ra Bright, which is an antioxidant, it will brighten your skin. 
kind of even out the dark spots of the skin, cut down the oxidative stress, then do a defense which is an anti-inflammatory which will cut down the redness, irritation, itchiness of the skin. Maybe if your skin is dry, you can do a rahydrate that gives you the collagen that you need, uh, every other ingredient that will hold the water to your skin. Now this is what you can simply do if you don't want to do much. But now if you are the groom who has already started his skincare, I mean put your best face forward for your wedding day, here's what you can do. Go to your doctor, see whether the regime that you're already following is right or wrong. Tweak it up. So that remains the same like I said for the non-initiated people, right? Now what you can do is opt for a few procedures. Mostly I've seen the issue that men have on the skin is either pigmentation or it is an extremely oily skin or a very dry skin or then it is old acne marks which they're still there as pits and it kind of become, looks rough on the face or then of course it is hair fall, right? Which is, which is the most important concern for a man that I've seen. Few men also have excessive sweating, especially in the arm, armpits which is called as hyperhidrosis. Some men have it on their forehead and on the cheek also. Now, these can be your special things that you want to look at. There are a few men who also want to get rid of their excessive hair on the shoulder, on the back, on the lower back. These are areas that you don't want to have hair and it, it, for some people it's not really nice and aesthetic, right? You want to get rid of it. And back acne, oh my God, how can I forget that? Back acne is another very important thing for men. So these are a few issues for men. Depending on what issue you have and how much time you have for the big day, you can sit down with your doctor and chart out a program for yourself. You can start off with, like I said, a skincare regime, a few ointments, lotions, portions, actives that she may put on for you to reach your goal. Then you can end up also getting into simple procedures at your doctor's office. Maybe just a peel, maybe just a facial to deep cleanse your pore, maybe something as basic as a Q-switch laser which will take care of the pigmentation. These are things with zero downtime you do, you just go and you just have to probably do it once in 15 days or once in a month depending on your skin and the time that you have for your wedding. Now, if you are a slightly older groom and then let's call it a mature groom or a smarter, wiser groom, um, then you're also looking at skin tightening. You're also looking at maybe a little jaw sharpening or, you know, defining your face and your features. Then you could, the easiest thing to opt for is like a highly focused ultrasound such as Ult Therapy, which is a single sitting thing. Uh, look at my Instagram. I've, I've put in videos. I've put in men over have done ALT therapy and felt very thrilled on Instagram. So I put those videos for you to see that it's a little painful, but it's not unbearable. But the results are really amazing. It wraps your skin very well. We could add it with a little bit of maybe a Botox to narrow the jawline. If you have a really broad jawline here, a bulky one, then we could do that. Or we could use fillers to make it more sharper and well-defined. Most Indian men come to me for their chin. I know jawline is a big thing, but they also come for the chin. It's a quick magic to just give you, you know, you have you seen, have you noticed yourself standing in front of the mirror and doing this? Most men do that. It, it's so, you know, you have a smaller chin, you know, your jaw is not looking sharp, but you stand in front of the mirror and do all of you do that. I saw another patient of mine do that today. So unconsciously you do that because you know that makes the face look nice. It just takes a few injections of fillers to actually give you that with zero downtime. But please, please choose the right doctor. Otherwise you'll end up, you know, having that sharp chin like one of the male actors which will look very fake and very funny. Again, I have done that also on the Insta. Go check who that is and why should that not be done. Um, so go to a doctor. You need to have a masculine chin. So that makes a huge difference. Because in an Indian, as much as you like a sharp jawline, unless you're the model type, unless you're really lean, unless you're born with a nice jawline, we usually have a bulkier lower face. So you have layers of fat, salivary gland and muscle there. So simply adding filler just make, makes it more bulky. Or I see people literally walking with two lines of fillers like this, which looks so fake. So no, that's not happening. I know this is a longer topic for another video, but here it is. I'm just putting bits of it. So for a groom, the easiest is to quickly do a filler. This really, the, the chin really makes a lot of difference. And then I love to do a little bit of Botox or brow talks, like the way TikTok has made it famous. Uh, so just relax that frown. Nobody wants a frowning groom, right? So just relax that frown. 
it, it relaxes you, it kind of makes your eyes look nicer. It's a nice thing to do. And Botox is a two second thing. No, it doesn't hurt. We use the finest of needle possible. So it just is, you won't even make out by the time you blink, I'm done. No downtime. The results are very predictable, very uh, within fillers within that minute. I'll show you the mirror the minute I finish. But a Botox will take around two to six days for the result to kind of come. Uh, but yeah, that's that's how much it, it, it takes for you to see the result and appreciate it. So this is what you can do as a groom. Now, if you have to do things like treatment for your acne scar, treatment for the acne on the back, treatment, let's say, for your hair reduction, this may take multiple number of sittings. So it's important for you to sign up pretty much in advance. You may at least minimum need four months to six months for you to see the result. So that's how soon you end up signing up for the same. Now, this is about, by and large, the groom, what you can do. Towards the end, if someone says, oh, you know what, I just want to come one, one week before my wedding, my wife pushed me or my bride pushed me. So here I am, I've landed up. We end up doing a quick 360 degree where you do a certain peel for your face. We do a little laser brightening and then we do a quick facial to deep cleanse your face and leave you hydrated you can go in like a nice little shining groom night and armor right so that's just a quick thing you spend an hour and a half we will brighten you lighten you make you feel nice hydrated and photoshopped so that's something that we can do as well um very difficult for me to say the whole thing on the video but i think this was informative ask me questions. I keep anyway posting small snippets on the Insta. Following this, I'm going to make some Insta videos which are shorter. For ones who don't have the patience for a long video, I'll give you tiny snippets of what you can do on the Insta. Take care. Look good. It's not just us women who want to look good on the wedding day. You better look good for us and for yourself and so that we can show you off as well. Yeah. Take care. Happy wedding day and happy marriage thereafter.